this is Jake from All Right Development, and I'm going to teach you how to make a rectangle using these are paths in Swift. So we're going to start off with a single view app. We're going to create the project. I'm going to name it Demo, and we're going to create this onto our computer. So the first thing that we want to do in our project is create a new file. So we're going to right click, hit New File. It's a Cocoa Touch file. We're creating a new UI view. We're going to name it Demo View. So this is going to hold the code to create a rectangle in user path. So we're going to create this and we're going to go to the view controller.swift and put or have the UI view come up onto our phone in the view controller.swift. So we're going to say that we need a view to appear. So we're going to say view to appear super dot view to appear and it's going to be animated. So the boolean is true. Then we're going to let the width of what we are making be 240.0. It's a CG float. That's the type of data we are doing. Then we're going to let the height be 160. We're going to let the demo view variable create equal to demo view and frame colon is a rectangle so core graphics rectangle and then within this we're going to say that x is equal to cell dot view dot frame dot size dot width divided by two minus the width divided by two. So all we're doing here is setting the x and y coordinates or the center of the phone for this rectangle. Width divided by two, or it's height because it's a y coordinate. So two minus height divided by two. Then we're going to set the width. It's just width. I want to say height. Is just the height. So now we need to put this into the view. I'm going to say it's self dot view dot add sub view is equal to demo view. So now we've created this into our project and we can go to demo view dot swift. So within demo view dot swift, we're going to create the rectangle. So we need to so uh, we're going to create a path. So we're going to say var path. So the type of variable that this is, is a UI visor path. And then we need to initialize this. So override init frame colon cg rec. And then we're going to say we need to use the super dot init and then this is going to be called frame we already created that and then we are going to say self dot background color equals to ui color and we're going to say dark gray so then we need the required init so required init is the coder a decoder with the type of variable is ms coder. We're going to say super dot init coder ms coder, and this ms coder is just going to be called e a decoder. Pass this through, and then now we can create the rectangle. So we're a function create rectangle. So we're going to say path, we are created equal to UI riser path. And then, so that's initializing the path, and then we're going to specify the point that it's moving to. It should, get, it should start the drawing. So paths that move to CG point x colon 0 0.0. .0 comma y colon zero 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 
so that's moving it specifying the point that it should get started drawing and then we're going to add the line from the starting point to the bottom left side of the, the view so path add line to cg point x colon zero zero and then y colon self dot frame dot size dot height and then we're gonna create the bottom line so path dot at line cg point or I'll say x colon self dot frame dot size dot width and we're gonna say the y is the height so self self dot frame dot size dot height and then we are going to add the line from the bottom right to the top right so we're gonna say path dot add line so we're gonna say cg point so it's x colon self dot frame dot size dot width comma y colon 0, 0. we uh, close that off and then now we can say path dot close and it'll create the last line automatically So now we can use the draw function to draw this. So we say override function draw cg rect. So we're going to say self dot create rectangle ui color uh, orange set fill so this is filling the rectangle with an orange color and then we're going to say path.fill to apply that and then we're going to say we're going to do a, a borderline so we're going to say ui color dot purple that set stroke so you can do any color with this and then we're going to say path.stroke all right so now if we run our project we should see a rectangle on the screen. So we are build succeeded, so we're good to go. And it's loading up. in a second and there it is as the purple border and the orange fill thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos on user paths be sure to comment down below if you want to watch our previous videos please check them out they're great coding tutorials on swift and firebase and everything coding related thank you so much and i hope you enjoy your day